Hello everyone, Sir Jellybean here, and we're back with another Project Zomboid Can Survive. It's Season 3, Episode 9, I believe. And obviously, the day before, we got the generators all set up. So now, we're going to get a bit of munch. Or if we've got any left, that is. I think we've got a little bit of food left. Oh, we've got some salmon and stuff. We'll qu quickly knock a stir-fry together for a man. Keep him nice and chunky. Chunky monkey. And we will... Uh, use the peanut butter. Do it. Use the peanut butter. That should be enough. We'll get our oven turned on. And we'll get that cooked up. And what we'll do is we'll just... Well, we best fill our water bottles as well. Fill a water bottle. I actually have a water bottle full of gasoline because... I'm going to put this. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Where was it? Over there. A bottle of gasoline. Just put it in there for now. There's a bottle of disinfectant there. I think that's from the bandages. We will grab a few cigarettes while we're waiting for this to cook. And today we are going to be going back to that police station after the massive control burn. I call it a control burn, let's be honest, it was just a mad zombie burn. But it did work out quite well, thanks to the helicopter coming. And we will then start trying to maybe get some things built around the house, like water collectors, because we're going to need them. But we will go and get some firepower first. Actually, do we even have... One sec, do we have a hammer and wood? Because we could do get the water collectors up now, now I think about it. We've only got five nails. Do we have a box nails? I um, don't think so. Oh, we do. Beast, grab one. And then grab the saw as well. Um, maybe grab the hammer. And where's the saw? Give me the saw. Grab one. Right. The main reason being, we're not going to board up the windows. I know people might think, why? Well, if the zombies end up coming all the way down here, it won't make much difference. What will make difference is water collectors, so we can actually spend some time doing that. We do have a few trees to be around, I believe. Yeah, we've got the odd one here, so let's get these cut down. Cut down tree. That will do. Saw logs. All. How many planks is that? I think all we need is some garbage bags and we can build our water collectors. We'll just, we'll, we'll just kind of put them where we find them. Um, we do have some garbage bags, I believe. Garbage bags. We've got seven, so let's just grab them for now. We'll see if we can get one or two of these knocked up quickly. We could obviously do the board in the windows later. But it would probably be easy just to block the streets off, and build some kind of gateway or something. So, can we... Carpentry. Um, fence, lamp, misc. Pick it. I don't know. Can you just do it like on the ground there? Bar. Composter, right? Ah, rain collector barrel. Oh, that's more of an elite version. Well, let's just do that there then. Let's try that. Ding, ding, ding. Oh. Is that done then? How many wooden. Oh, so that took four, so that's quite cool. Okay. So if we cut some more down, we can build another one somewhere. Should we go and cut some trees down here? No Zeds about is there I don't think. Nah. Right let's just check. No Zeds, no Zeds. Right. Cut down a tree. No. Just saw one. Grab one. And grab another one. Grab another one. We'll build one more rain collector barrel. I know, it's going to hurt you slightly, you'll get over it. Is it a heavy load? Yeah. You'll get over it, mate, you'll get over it. Right. Um. Rain collector barrel. God, oh, I ain't got enough garbage bags. Alright, just drop these on the floor. We can start collecting them. I think that's going to be one of my main priorities, getting tons of these rain collector barrels built in a bit. Just so we don't ever run out of water, because that would just be a horrific way to lose. <laughs> so we'll just get these things back up, but at least we know we can build them. I have conquered the rain collector barrel. Good stuff. Um, is there any more crap we don't need? I think we're okay for now. I think we're all good. It's back to the van. There's also that other van there, the police station. I might end up trading up. Still got two gas cans full. Good stuff. Away we go. Obviously, if you enjoyed the series, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. I do appreciate it. 
If you obviously see me miss anything like car keys and stuff, please do tell. I'm going to start trying to pump out some more episodes on Boyd. I think it's a nice difference to Gates of Hell. Just have a bit. It's a bit more chill. There's a bit more hilarity ensues, I think. I do like Gates of Hell, obviously, but it's nice to have a break with Zomboy and just do craziness. Right. All oh, these Zeds. Still quite a few of them. I thought they were both connected then, I thought it was like a donkey or something, I was like, whoa! I think animals are actually coming in the next build, which will be interesting. I wonder if there'll be like random wild dogs and stuff, that'd be very scary. Oh god, I think turned on a dime, I'll give it that, it's very quick turning. But we need to go up to the police station. As far as any Zeds left after um, our mass burning. There we go. Whoa, there is quite a few actually. I am surprised at how many there are. Right, let's just go over here for now. Shut off. Right, let's just um, yeah, stay crouched. Hopefully not too many of them pay attention to us, because... I'd rather not get killed by zombies. Oh, empty gas can, so we can fill that up. Tire, heavy duty, that's good. Let's just deal with these um, odd ones. God, look at the carnage we've left. Absolutely glorious. Trunk. Dead. Right, we're looking pretty clear. The zombie always seems to sneak up at your last minute, though. Let's just check. Oh, it is a bit battered at the front. But still, it's an extra vehicle, so it's good to have a backup van. How we're looking. Right. Oh, engine good. Battery good. Gas tank empty. Uh, HUD slightly damaged, but it's not bad, actually. So, to be fair, I'll just leave it there, because it's a... I'm going to mark it on the map before I forget. And we'll just put backup van. Um, backup van. But still, it's useful to have, and fuel-wise... We could fuel up here actually, that'll be a next option. Let's just. We are clear, aren't we? Is this open? It's open, oh my god. Oh my god! Uh, oh! And we got the keys. Son of a gun! Hell yes! Right, jump out a sec. So we've got a fully loaded police car as well. We got anything in the boot? Walkie talkie, duct tape, I'll take that. Jack, that's actually quite useful to have Jack. We'll take all this stuff and put it into our van, because having the actual stuff to repair things is rather good. Let's just check under the hood quickly. So we ended up with two good quality vehicles here. It's quite a gold man. Holy crap, that is a mint condition, basically. Right, right here, right here. This is pretty good. Um, oh, does that have any fuel? Let me just double check. I don't think it did. Um... No fuel, but what I'll do is I will let's have a quick smoke, and I'm going to fuel both of them up before I go into the police station. One with each can. Idea being, at least if we come back here in a situation where we need a vehicle, we can just take it straight up to the petrol station, and then, you know, whatever we need, we can do. A quick primary. And then, we'll come back for that in a sec, because we're going to bring the empty cans back. Add gasoline, gas can, let's do it. There we go. Cool. Let's take... Oh god, that's very heavy. Oh, I didn't think about bringing stuff to actually break into the uh, police station with. I just thought... Bit of a stupid move on my part there. But, hey-ho, that's what I do. We can always go and break into the... Um, like a supermarket or something. That'd be quite a good idea. With the van. With all this space. It's alright, it's alright, we'll dump it in a sec. Add gasoline, good stuff. That's cool, so both of these vehicles. Got a backup van and the police car. For the old Moldra Police Department, we are a bit warm, but we'll go over it. Let's quickly get on the map. Let's just put a um, cop car. Good. 
Cop car good. It's a good cop car, not those ones that pull you over for speeding. Don't want that, do we? New. No. Oh, I dropped the, dropped the pop can. Oh, get that deck jack and crap in the back. Trip the duct tape in there as well. There we go. Right, let's get to the police station. Dun 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 dun. dun. Bit of looting, my favourite. I know that the helicopter has been here and gone. Right, let's see if there's. Oh, vitamins, matches, we'll take it. Hopefully. Oh, we've got a holster. We've already got a holster. I think we've got a double one, actually. Oh, nice. There's a water thing. I will. Oh, the cigarettes, please. Is that a garbage bag? Garbage bag. Oh, crap, there is Zeds in here. Gotta be a bit careful because the door is broke. Key. I wonder what that's for. Oh, there is some in there. Crap. Look at the burst through here and have a look. Because I've gone through the garage many times and died. I swear I'm cursed when I go through there, so I'm just going to be a bit careful. Right. Run! Ah! <laughs> I don't like the police station, it's cursed! It's cursed, damn it! I think we got him. Right, one sec. Right, shut that. Alright, you know what we do need? New pants. Wear me some pants. Because mine are in really bad position so that's fine. And um, where are my really bad pants? No, it says they're not in that bad condition, but I swear it had rips in them. I right, just wear them then. Whatever. Whatever. Um please t shirt now. Deputy shirt. Ooh, hat. Oh I've got a bike helmet on them. Oh garbage bag, yes please. Alright, let's go. Cool. Oh yes, we're in! Sweet. Jesus on toast. Is there a door banging then? Straight. Swear to God, they're banging. Oh, so we got J cells. Right. Let's get into the uh, gun room. Oh my sweet baby Jesus. We have found the goddamn mobile load. Take it all. Take it all, lad. What else we got? Now. Oh sweet god. I said I wanted guns. This is like, if you've seen The Matrix, I'm going to mention this again. No, he just says he wants guns. And like, the racks of ammo and guns just come flying down. Just full of stuff. This is basically what we've got here. CO2 cartridge is nice. Um, we'll yeah, take as much as we can in that group. Right, we'll take this back to the van. We will fill it up. Oh, let's just lock that set. Yeah, shut up. Chill it. Cool, cool. Even though it is the police station, it seems like we've defeated the curse thanks to Molotovs in the previous episode. And we will dump all this crap. It's not crap, is it? It's really cool weapon stuff, but we'll put most of it straight in while we can. Get all of it in. Whoa, there's so much to put in. I think we're still good, and then we'll get the next load of stuff. And we should have enough firepower if we ever want to tackle Louisville. We get far enough that we need kind of you know lots of firepower to do something. Gives us an option, doesn't it? So we do have. It was in that. It's got small canister. That all it's got. Drop it on the floor. What's it actually having it? Oh, a box that loads of nine milli rounds. We might as well take them because you know it's going to be useful, isn't it? Uh, take that. Take the Bushmaster. I'll take. Just chuck these on the floor a sec. Because it makes them easier to get to. Where are they? Take all them. 
Oh, it's heavy. Um, I think there's more stuff there. We'll go and unload these quick. Ah, we're going to get injured. We just want all the guns while I can get them. All the ammo. I like my guns a bit too much, maybe. Bushmaster and them. See all of them, all of them. Do it. Come on. There we go. Yeah, it's been a good loot actually already on this episode. Some good raiding. Oh, I'm looking forward to getting the bushmaster on some things and just start lacing things with machine gun fire. Pew, pew. Right, they're on the floor here. Right, why? There must be something in them. Can I actually pick it up? Drink it on the floor there. There must be something in it. Oh, these ones empty. Alright. It's a bit disappointing, but never mind. We've got quite a lot of firepower out of it. That's good. Um, we've got obviously a couple of rain barrels made. Got a couple of cars fueled up. Alright, right, it will go back to the gas station and fuel, fill the rest of those um, fuel cans up. All right, here. Whoa, that's a few Zeds, isn't it? Alright, just ignore them. Just ignore them. Just ignore them. It's alright. Just ignore them. Whoa! Careful. Careful, Sir Jellybean. This could be very dangerous when you get brave, you get a bit cocky, and then death comes and gives you that sweet, sweet reminder that Zomboid is not your friend. He is your enemy. He laughs at your pain. Every single bit of your pain. Right, what's that? That's um fill all. Don't care. Do it. Ah! Crap. Oh crap, just drop him on the floor. This turned out really bad. Drop him quick. Son of a beep. You goddamn Zeds! You'll die! Like dogs! Finish it. Son of a gun! That panicked the crap out of me. Right. <laughs> I think all three or four, right? Pick them up. Right, let's do it. Yes, I know. Very heavy load. You'll get over it. Just put them in the car, quick. Good, good, good. Okay. Nope. Oh, wrong seat. Shh. Do it. Right, where to go next? We've got firepower, we've got fuel, we've got a proper like hillbilly's arsenal of it. There is these restaurant -y things here. We could raid them actually while we're in, see if there's anything to use, because obviously they're fairly clear now. Do it. Do, 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 do. I actually watched 28 Days Later again the other day just to get in the mood for, for Zomboid. And it is just absolutely awesome film if you've never seen it. If you like zombies, especially fast zombies, watch it, it's great. 28 Weeks Later, the sequel, it's kind of crap. They made it too much of an action film. It's not crap because there's Americans in it, by the way, before someone says that. It's crap because the directors didn't really follow the cool thing of the first one. Right, what have we got? Ooh, cheese, eggs. Oh, we've got all sorts of stuff. We'll have that for our beautiful fridge. And eggs, I love it. Right, what's we got in the? Oh, sweet God, we've got nice, tasty foods as well. This will keep us going for a bit. Right, what else we got? Burrito. What's that? Is oh, what's that? What's that? Oh, condiments. These is good. Oh, rumelade. Oh, I don't even know what it is, but it sounds minging. What's in the cabinets? Nothing. Potato. Potato! For my Irish friends there. They're very happy with that. That's alright, we got a nice bit of food out of there actually. Back to El Beso. Hey Zeds, screw you. Screw you Zeds! There's quite a few Zeds around here, I was going to pop into that place. What is this place again? Is it a... 
Oh, this is where I died on the first series. Son of a B. I remember now. Well, I'm not going there now, because I've just visited the police station to survive. I'm not tempting fate that much. Yeah, if you haven't seen Season 1, uh, watch the last episode and laugh your head off as I'm screaming. <laughs> because I run in there whilst being chased by Zeds. That was when I got used to get scared of boards quite a lot. Now, so much different, but yeah, that was a that was a funny series, actually. I think I lasted six days. Yeah, I didn't even make the helicopter. Didn't think I had a vehicle in that, so... Yeah, that was my uh, pre... Oh, there's so many Zeds, though, still. It's fine, don't worry. They're not strong enough to take the van down. Their meagerly fleshy bodies bounce off us. Gotta stop going this way. Forgot about that wreck. We'll have to go round. Obviously, season two has taught me always drive on the road. Never, ever, ever trust forests and think that you can get through them because you can't. And I've learned that the hard way. Right, we should be able to go down here. Hello, sorry. Oh, is this not? A, this ain't a dead end, is it? No. Oh, it's like a bit of a cut through. Cool. We should be able to get down this path. Oh, yeah. I've got the driving skills to manage that. Oh, look at that. We even stuck past some deads. Haha! -ha! Stealth van. <laughs> Stealth van. Look at the state of it. Oh, zombies there. Look at them on two wheels. Don't want to do that with this. Where the hell am I going? I don't know. Kind of lost, but I'm not. Um... Oh, I went into some forest. Ah, uh, I know where I am now. Can get home. Take me home. Country. Great for this. We've got guns, we've got fuel, and we've got some good food actually. Fresh food. Oh, that's a tip as well for new players that learn. Use all the fresh food while it's still available. Because eventually it will install right anyway. Fridges will cut power. Deck, deck, deck. So, you know, use what you can. Turn me off. Shut off. Right, we're going to take all the food first and get it in the fridge. And we'll. Bring everything in, and then we'll cook some food up, blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. So where we got? We've got, oh, got tons of stuff. Um, no, just put it all in the fridge, because we're going to use it over the next few days anyway. There we go. So anything left? We've got some garbage bags. Got a bit of random crap. Garbage bags, garbage bags. Put the matches in there. You know what? Just take a couple. Just need, like, grab... Two lighters is enough normally. Don't need a screwdriver. Oh, we can put rifle scope. Oh, weapons are going somewhere else actually. The weapons are going to have to go upstairs so they don't start getting muddled up too much. Got to keep my organisation up. Has this got anything in it really? Um, you know what? Just take all this crap and dump it on the floor. I don't care. Because it's not going to get used anyway, that stuff. And if you take all this crap and dump it on the floor, this can become a weapons cabinet. There we go. Good stuff, right. And we'll eat after it. Not a bad loot though, actually, getting all those firearms and finding that key on that woman was absolutely glorious, because saved us having to come back and you know mess around. Right, let's try and get quite a lot of this stuff in the bag. We get quite a lot of this stuff in the bag again. Right, we'll take that first lot. Fairly heavy load, just slightly over. Smoke a cigarette as we walk, that's fine. Smokey, smokey Joe. Can he eat a horse right now? He's still on calories, I believe. Has he gained any weight or anything? Yeah, a little bit. We did gain some, so we've been a bit of a chunky monkey. It's good stuff, right? Let's get all the firepower. Chuck it in there. We've got gun cleaning kits as well. It's really good stuff, let's do it. And we'll go back. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the firearms though. I, I, I want some because I think it's just cool. <laughs> it's more for just me, more than being useful in the game. I just love guns. Love me some guns. So let's just take all that stuff that we can. Let's do it. Take that. Take that. There you go. Oh, we're very heavy. Fairly heavy load, I think. Oh, we can actually carry quite a bit, can't we? We can. Oh, shut the door just in case. We've got the Jenny, we've got the fuel. We're all good. And our firearms cabinet is getting even better by the minute. All we'll do is we'll put ammo on the other side, maybe. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Um, put the bullets on this side. There you go. 
well, speed speed run there. Proper speed run it, didn't he? Put the magazines there. I think that's everything. Yeah, we've got a full gun cabinet. We're still sticking with the... Actually, while we're here... Um, what are these, these Glock magazines? So they use 9mm magazines, I imagine. Oh. Where's my Glock? By the way. Um, a jet magazine. What magazine does it use? Ah. Oh, it's a 45. Right. Okay, then. Do we have any 45s? No, we don't. Okay, okay, you're on set. Put that there, put the Glock there. What's got now? What uses 9mm? Let's just pause it a sec. I want to check. 9mm, right. We'll use. There's that, there's MP5. Right, use that. Take that. Grab one of them. Grab another one. And then. Grab one. Open the box. Can we. Oh, why are we still at the 45? Is that what those magazines are? Oh, those magazines are 45s. Alright, just um, unload magazine. Alright, can we load that? Is it the same magazine? I'm trying to load the guns. I'm struggling. Right, yeah, now we can. Right, load. Insert magazine. Insert two bullets, right. Cool, so we've got two mags for that. Cool, cool, cool. We've got a spare magazine as well, so that means at least the gun's got a bit of firepower. Right, let's get washed up. We're okay for health wise, yeah. We can start cookie cookie. Not a bad little, more of a chilled episode, I'd say. Um, let's do it. There we go. And we can do some tasty food. Let's get our frying pan. I'm actually going to try and cook an actual decent meal. So we'll try meat. Then we'll add what we got. Mixed vegetables, yes. Alright, don't add them then, you mop it. Check them back in. Then we'll add oil. We'll add hot sauce. See, that looks pretty good actually. Oh no, I left it on again. I'm an absolute tool. This building should have burnt down so many times. This is not good. In real life, I'm pretty good at turning things off. I don't waste every, all the energy. My goot. <laughs> I am a moron. Right, let's get that munched. Sweet. And we'll chuck that in there. So we've got firepower. We've got our other cars fueled up. Let's just fill a water bottle up before we forget. It's looking quite hefty, isn't it? Oh, we've got those magazines. Put that in there. Is that with the the gun? Um, it does look a lot heavier. Oh, the jack! We've got the jack! Put the jack there. So obviously that's going to weigh a ton. Um, yeah, we're cool. Right. One last check, make sure there's no Zeds outside. Oh, I'm feeling a bit dubious. Cool. Close curtain. And off to sleep, here we go. So obviously, we'll just sleep till the next morning as always, make sure we survive. Oh, nine! Shut the door. Sleep. Let's do it. I hope you've enjoyed the episode, everyone. Obviously, if you did, like, subscribe, leave a comment, please do. And I'll see you on the next one, where I think we'll go raiding some supermarkets with some high-powered weaponry. So thanks for watching, everyone, and I hope you have a fantastic night. See you later.